to have an exclusive interview with one of the most highly respected game developers of our time, Yu Suzuki of Sega Enterprises. We're going to be talking about Shenmue amongst other things. And being that you're with me today, you can join me for the interview. Come along. Yu Suzuki is the head of the world famous video games development team, AM2, and one of the most respected figures in the world of computer entertainment. He is Sega's star programmer and producer of many hit games. However, Game Over was in Tokyo to discuss one game, the phenomenal Shenmue. Armed with our cameras and assisted by our Japanese translators, we arrived at Suzuki Zan's office hungry for information. I began by asking how the idea of Shenmue came about. The plan started in 1994. I went to China when making Virtua Fighter, and when I was there, I decided I wanted to make a story set in China. You have to find a way to communicate the charm of China and its history and culture. It's like a big novel in a way, and I wanted to get this across. I'm very interested in Kung Fu, and I wanted to incorporate this into the story. It was important for me to incorporate Chinese riddles and various other Chinese things within the story of Shen Mu. I wanted to make it simple enough for children to play, not difficult or complicated. Shenmue may have a simple control interface, but it's one of the most ambitious video games ever devised. Suzuki-san watched over 70 movies while researching the game, including martial arts flicks starring Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, as well as Western films like Disney Animations and Spielberg Blockbusters. The main reason for this was to apply the techniques of movie direction into game development. Free or full reactive eyes entertainment is based on the eye. The eyes are based on two things. You have two eyes and you can look in two directions. From children to adults, all these people are contained in the game. And I wanted to combine a cinema or movie-like experience with the game. Shenmue incorporates many different play styles seamlessly into the game action. The majority of the game is played in a third-person perspective, but other viewpoints come into play, especially when the action hots up. The free battle mode allows players to fight in real time. Just imagine playing Virtua Fighter against multiple enemies to get an idea of what to expect. An added bonus is the ability to learn moves to use in the free battle mode. QTE events are action scenes that require precise button presses. Suzuki-san wanted to make the game simple enough for anyone to play, so with a few joypad taps, gamers can pull off a variety of stunning moves. Also, throughout the game, real-time cinematic cutscenes draw players into the immersive storyline. I decided to question Suzuki-san about the many techniques he developed for the production of Shenmue's graphics, and was pleasantly surprised when he attempted to speak in English. We, we, we use many technology, so the one is uh, some rendering, that uh, so Shenmue special one, so very soft and uh, so very hard to say, uh, so strong, strong color, like uh, oil painting. Yes. Uh, that uh, shading, that that say a uh, shading program is uh, I wrote. Yeah. So, yeah. As our interview time was coming to an end, I decided to try my luck and uncover some information on Shenmue 2. Shenmue 1 is uh, so some kind of egg, like an egg. Yeah. Yeah. Right. As uh, Shenmue series is uh, so always growing up, growing up, growing, growing up. Shenmue 2 is. Uh, how to say, uh, focus, so some pickup, so technology. Maybe hardware is the same, yes. but the uh, software is always, so maybe it's uh, growing up, advanced, 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 and uh, maybe a uh, um, really hard question for me, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, so um, maybe some guy will understand, so, so different level is uh, so Virtua Fighter 1 and 2. Very big leap. Yeah. It's a very big leap. I hope. That's, uh, you, you believe the leap yes, between Virtua Fighter 1 and Virtua Fighter 2 will be Shenmue 1, Shenmue 2? Not believe, but I hope. You don't hope. hope. <laughs> but uh, now it's uh, always uh, working, 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 working. Yeah. Shenmue has been in development for over three and a half years, and over 350 I Sega staff have been involved in its production. The Western translation of Shenmue is nearly completion, with 100 foreign voice actors providing their vocal talents for the game. Shenmue is scheduled for release in the United States around November 14th, and no doubt the European release will follow shortly. We'll end this Yu Suzuki Game Over special with some exclusive footage of the game, demonstrating the fully lip-synced English translation.
keep friends. Those you love close to you. Wait, there was one final question I had to ask the man before I left. Just how much has the game cost so far to develop? No! Total, over 70 million dollars. 70 million dollars? Yeah, seven, seven, oh, million dollars. 70 million dollars. That's around 46 million pounds at the current exchange rate. Eager gamers will have to wait until the end of 2000 to find out if it's been money well spent. Okay, this is an American...